Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make Shahi Kaju Curry. And there's one special ingredient that would take this dish to another level. Let's get started. Heat a kadhai or pan and add 1 to 2 tablespoon oil. Add in around half cup cashew nuts. Fry till the cashew nuts turn golden. Drop the cashew nuts to a bowl full of water. Yes, it's a different step than usual but I'm doing this to remove excess oil. This also improves the texture of the cashew nuts. Heat a kadhai and add one medium sized roughly chopped onion. Saute it till slightly pink. Add one teaspoon ginger, one tablespoon garlic. Saute for a few seconds, like 10 to 15. Then add one green chili, five whole dried red chilies, two tablespoon cashew nuts. Saute for a minute or so. Add in two roughly chopped tomatoes. Saute till the tomatoes are slightly done and you would see the skin of the tomato coming off. Let this mixture cool down. Once the mixture cools down, transfer it to a mixer grinder jar. Let the mixture cool down, it's very important. Grind it to a fine paste. While making the paste, if you feel the need of adding water, add a little water. Do not add a lot in one go. Look at this consistency. It looks perfect. It's smooth, it's not gritty. Again, heat the same kadhai or a new one and add 2 to 3 tablespoon oil. Add zeera, that is cumin, and add the prepared paste. Turmeric. Again, I'm adding some red chilli powder. This is Bhargi red chilli powder which has more color and less heat. If your red chilli powder has more heat, reduce the quantity. Then add some salt as per taste and give this masala a good mix. Cover and keep the flame between low to medium and cook till the oil separates from the sides. Then add garam masala, roasted and crushed kasuri methi, 2 pinches of green cardamom powder. If you do not have it, you can add whole green cardamom at the beginning. 1 teaspoon sugar, it's optional. And a special ingredient, saffron, a few strands of it. Mix till everything is well combined. 2 teaspoon malai. I am using the homemade malai that collects on the top of milk once we boil the milk. Add in the soaked cashew nuts. Cover and cook for another 2 minutes. Our delicious shahi kaju curry that is cashew nut curry is ready to serve. You can serve this with roti, naan, paratha, rice. This recipe would serve 3 to 4 people. Again for garnishing, I'm adding some malai. This is homemade malai that collects on the top of milk. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Do give this recipe a try and enjoy!